That's right. It's what you've been waiting for. Monkey Jones on your computer screen. <laughs> Almost. Uh, now. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to another night of Twitch debauchery. We have not been banned yet. Can you believe it? I can't. Cannot believe it. Let's get Eridge McSoy and Florian Himsel here so we can do some Kino, folks. We can do some Kino right here, right now. Can you believe the wonders of modern technology allow this to be possible, folks? We must praise Steve Jobs for inventing the internet. Truly a hero. All right. Well, it looks like Erich isn't here yet, but I think Florian might be. Florian? I'm here. There he I is. found a way to unmute my mic. Hello, oh. how are you doing? Hey, hey, how are you doing, Florian? I'm good, as always. Good in the hood. <laughs> Literally, because I live in the south. Literally oh good God. in the hood. Well, I'm terrible. I... I was going to fall asleep an hour ago, and then I did in my chair, and then I woke <laughs> up again. You fell asleep sitting in a chair? I know. How is that possible? I don't... I mean, uh, when it when e Erich and I stayed at Asterios' apartment this last weekend, and Erich also slept sitting up in a chair. <laughs> well, I only slept for like half an hour, so I'm still tired. So oh. No problem. Well, hopefully you'll be wide awake to make predictions on the Oscar films that you have not seen. <laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna be great. I haven't <laughs> I've never seen the Oscars before, and I haven't seen most of these films, so <laughs> I, I will simply just pick the most pretentious choice, and I'll be sure to win. Sacron Axe, thank you for subscribing. Folks, as soon as Erich gets here, he said he's eating a pizza as soon as Erich gets here we will begin the episode of his Aquino. for now i guess we'll hang out with the chat a little bit uh, reminder if black panther wins the oscar for best picture i will be streaming here on twitch 24 hours straight of me watching black panther on repeat and if green book wins the oscar for best picture i will be doing the same but with the Brad Dassey music video i'm coming home which is six minutes long and somebody calculated that on Twitter for me, so let's we have to watch it ten times each hour, times twenty four. So it'd be two hundred and forty times I have to listen to that song. But you realize that the that the black man in in the Green Book would despise such a horrible music video. Why? Why? It's about uh, coming home to Jesus. I assume the characters in that film are very religious. Oh yeah, I guess they would be, huh? Yeah. Damn. That is terrible. Really, I, I should have made that bet about A Star is Born, because Brad Dassey, the singer of I'm Coming Home, truly was a star that was born. Oh, wow. Yeah, you learn you something new every day. <laughs> What's that? You should have made a different crazy bet for each movie. <sighs> Not for each one, because there has to be some movies where I don't have to do anything. Otherwise, I'm just fucked no matter what. Oh. Yeah. Well... Or do you like it? <laughs> no. You never know. No. No. Maybe you should do something you like. Uh, I hear Erich. Do we oh. hear Erich? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Wow, you actually sound uh, half decent. Did we actually fix your good? audio? Yeah, yeah, I actually did some shit. Wow. Was he bad last time, too? <laughs> He's been bad his whole fucking life. <laughs> well, I, I fixed some of his issues last time. I got with Asterios' audio guy. Yeah. Wow, what'd he say? Move my room. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're in a oh. different room of your two-room apartment, I assume? That's right. What is this, the, the bathroom now? Oh yeah, this my is God. the uh, master bath. Okay, uh, they're saying that they can't hear him. Uh, are Erich and Florian equally loud? If if not, I can... Uh, uh, I bet I I'm real quiet. I think you're louder than Erich. I'm not sure. I'll, we'll see what the uh, chat really? says. Hopefully, you guys need me to like turn something up. Uh, I could probably turn you up oh, through Discord. Turn me up, Daddy. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait for somebody trusted to tell me how the audio is. But nobody's fucking saying anything. Oh, wow. wow, he really sounds better to you now. I don't. Yeah, it. dude. Walrus man, thank you for subscribing. Hmm. 
And Florian, we're going to try to have all of us record our own individual audio in Audacity if you can uh, do that. Sure. E Erich is a little low. Well, Erich, can you boost yourself a bit? Yeah, let me see. Just let me know when we start. It's probably just because he's quiet. If he's loud, he'll be noisy and terrible as usual. All right, huh. how's that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's much good. better, I think. Hot damn. All right, let's, uh, boys, let's start recording real quick, and yeah, we'll sync up. Okay, I am recording. Erich, why, why do you keep muting yourself? Oh, we're going to stream I mean, pizza. Up. Oh, he's eating his fucking point. pizza. Do you really think uh, during our show is the best time to eat a pizza, Erich? Hell yeah. <laughs> what am I paying you for? Oh, my God, you're paying him? No. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Monkey, let's go already. I have to sleep soon. Buddy, this is going to be an hour and a half long show, so mm. you might as well wait till tomorrow. Oh, no, you're, you're just in the same boat as me. All right, e Erich, are you uh, recording on Audacity? Oh, no, I didn't know I was. You fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> just start. All right, I have started doing it. Okay, we're all recording. I'm going to do three, two, one, cuck. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, cuck. 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 And one more time. Three, two, one, cuck. cuck. Okay, that'll. Our audio guy will be able to sync those up, I have to assume. If not, I have an emergency backup. Your audio guy, who is you? Now, Erich, T minus how many minutes for you to finish <laughs> this delicious giant pizza? How long oh, do me and Florian. How long do Florian and I have to uh, uh, just. <laughs> uh, what's the word? Vamp? Yeah, yeah, right. Vamp while I try to eat this pizza. Yeah, yeah. How uh, long? What, really, what's the ETA? For like a minute. By time. A minute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Society Liver, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, I guess I'll give everybody the uh, the usual spiel with these Izakino shows. We're recording a podcast here for iTunes, folks. So we're going to primarily ignore the Twitch chat while we're doing the show, but then when we finish. We will do the after show where we catch up on all the donations and we hang out with the chat, answer your questions, uh, uh, generally hanging out with the chat for a while. And then uh, after this stream ends, wh however many hours into the night that may be, I'm thinking I'm going to come back uh, maybe 20 minutes later and do a stream of one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games for the DS, playing the story mode, because I... I think that'd be a lot of fun, even if only 20 people are watching, because nobody gives a shit about Yu-Gi-Oh! from 2012. Uh, it's just what I feel like doing. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit about Yu-Gi-Oh? Really? Uh, watching me play against computers in a DS game from 2012, I don't know if very many people would care about that. Uh, I see. <laughs> but uh, but I, I like it, because in the story mode, when you're watching fuckers just play each other online, they both have the best deck ever made. And each turn lasts half an hour, and then it's wow. over after three turns. But when you're playing the game in story mode, you start off with a shitty fucking deck, and then you get to slowly get better cards and build up and, and, and fight increasingly difficult computer players. I think that's way more fun to both play and watch. I don't understand how anybody can enjoy watching top-level play of Yu-Gi-Oh. What a fucking bore. Damn. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, you, you're really going it going for you playing it how it's supposed to be played by the people for the people <laughs> <laughs> wow. we must uh role. seize the means of the uh, uh uh damn it i can't remember the fucking meme seize the means of production the proletariat etc etc Yu-Gi-Oh. the proletariat that's right that's right wait that can't be right isn't the proletariat the, the thing you want uh, no, but no, and like basically no, you are <laughs> leveling the class structure, so there will no longer be a proletariat. Oh wait, is the proletariat the rich guys or the poor guys? I think pro's like the middle class. Up. Oh, hey, stop right. typing, stop eating, I wanna do the fucking kino. That's a middle class? Are you fucking ready? The wage yeah. earners, yes. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready? Are you guys ready or yeah. not? Here I come. Do it. Okay. Let's do it. It's motherfucking Kino time, people. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special annual episode of Is It Kino? I am your host, Monkey Jones, joined as always by E Bitch McSoy. Uh, Monkey, the uh, report is just coming in from uh, HollywoodReporter.com. It, it seems that I am hosting the Oscars this year. 
Oh, oh, okay. I, I was confused. Holy shit. They said nobody is hosting the Oscars, and I guess yeah, you, I'm a, I'm a you are a nobody. <laughs> it makes sense. If, if they would have said like a loser cuck is is hosting the Oscars, I would have known it was you immediately. <laughs> Yeah, it's my time to shine. And also, a man who is not hosting the Oscars this year, one oh. Florian Himsel. Oh, man, I always assumed that the Oscars would be terrible, at, but I never watched them. But now, I had to make this list of who would win, and I now know for sure that it's pretentious bullshit. So <laughs> let's see who wins. So in case you aren't aware, we're doing a very special non-movie review episode of Izakino. Instead, we're playing a little game, folks. The Oscars are coming up, I think, what, in two weeks? About two weeks from now, E-Rich, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. It's an annual art competition, folks. They're going to decide <laughs> what is the best art. It's so easy to just... <laughs> it's so objective. This one... No, this... Exactly. It's so easy, and it's agreed upon by everyone. Yeah, this the art... Oscars always get it right every single year. Exactly. Yeah. There's definitely a point to this whole operation. This art <laughs> is better than this art, so it deserves a trophy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. So what we I like to do out this entire time. Well, you're not missing out anymore, buddy, because what we like to do here on Izakino is make our list of Oscar predictions, and then when we watch the show, we keep a list or a tally. Who got the most predictions right? And the person with the most correct Oscar winner predictions is the Kino ist Kinoer of the year. Oh dude, are you can't you hear them at all? Life? Are you sure this Okay, well, are you sure we need to turn them way up? Oh, Can well, people in the chat hear them? Up. Okay, well. So you're going to watch them live? Like here, this, here, this wait one sec, Florian. We got, Florian, shut the fuck up. We got to fix the technical no. thing. I guess evidently the, uh, the configuration that has always worked is now no longer working. Which is always good. Nah, I'm, yeah. I'm barely too quiet, but okay. I'm pretty sure you guys should be as loud as you always are. So I don't Don know. Don B is saying means. they are low. Okay, well, well, I mean, I've never been more sleepy, but yeah, sure. <laughs> well, how's that? <laughs> I, I turn them up all the fucking way. Yeah. How do you like that? Yeah. Finally. The How did we do a 20-minute pre-show and you fuckers didn't say a fucking thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Useless. All 175 of you can go fucking kill yourselves. <laughs> Useless. You oh, now they're too loud. Great. <laughs> oh, who could have seen? Useless. <laughs> I fucking hate this show. Wow, back I, and forth. I hate the fans. I hate my co-hosts. <laughs> you, you're merely getting trolled by the audience. Amazing. So, Sheep, is it good now or not? Actually, no, no we're quiet now. God damn it. Are you listening to fuck? it, Florian? Yeah. My uh, I guess it's hard to tell, though. Oh, it sounds fine on my fucking end. Mm. You Hold on. fucking losers. I hate everybody here. That's it. I'm coming home. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. All right, fuck it. I guess uh, I guess we'll just start over then. No. Too much shit to hmm. fix. Now I have to re-explain the rules of this fucking just game. Cut, just cut this part off. No, nah, I'm gonna cut my own dick off. That's uh. what I'm gonna cut. Okay, so is it fine or not? Can somebody please just fucking tell me? You're rich is fine. <laughs> She's saying I'm a bit quiet. And Do does that mean I'm not? Talking loud enough, or do I have to turn myself up? I mean, you sound as loud as Florian to me, and they're hearing what I, I hear, so. Well, that should be fine, then. All right, let's just start over. I'll go on turbo charge this time. We start audacity. All right. Okay, it's fine. No, 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 keep your audacity okay. going. I'm just going to fucking fly through this intro, then. This do it. Deleted, ep are, deleted segment. People are saying I'm fine for the first time ever. <laughs> wow. Well, they haven't met you. They don't know you, you know, as a <laughs> as a person. All right, here we go again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special annual episode of Is It Kino? I am your host, Monkey Jones, joined as always by Mr. Ebitch McSoy. Host of the Oscars 2019, Ebitch McSoy, that's right. <laughs> and uh, also joined by uh, Florian Himsel. Holy shit, am I on the Chipmunks podcast? Everyone going at double speed? What am I going to do? We're going to do the Oscars and we're going to get shit right? Yeah, I don't this, know, maybe not. This is our... Fabulous. Oh my god. <laughs> the only good thing about that movie is My Name is Earl was in it. And then he was cut out of the sequel and replaced with Chuck. Holy oh, yeah, shit. Chuck. 
uh, folks, in case you can't tell, uh, uh, this is our second attempt at recording the podcast. Hopefully, E. Rich won't fuck it up this time. But what we're doing here wow. today is making our Oscar predictions. That's right, folks. The Oscars announced all their nominees this year. We're going to go through all the major categories. Guess what's going to win. Then watch the Oscars in two weeks or whenever the fuck the Oscars is. And whoever gets the most predictions correct wins the fabulous prize of holding the title of most kinoist kinoer of the year. I don't remember who won last year, Everich. Was it me or you? You. B barely by the skin of your teeth. Okay. Barely. I don't listen back to this show, but I, I'll take your word for it. You could have said you won, right. and uh, I would have believed you. <laughs> Honesty well, in all things. The Finish. chat would have pointed out for sure. So now that you're purely a live show, are we going to watch the Oscars live as well and comment over them as if they were a Trump speech? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we potentially could. I wouldn't be Ooh. able to show the Oscars on screen because we're doing all these live at uh, twitch.tv slash monkey jones. But if, some, if people at home watched the Oscars on their own and had us on in the background, they'd be able to hear our, our reactions live to thoughts. everything. Right. But I also think it kind of ruins the episode of Kino. I think maybe we shouldn't broadcast our live yeah. reactions and save it for the you know, our Kino episode reviewing the Oscars to tell everybody if the Oscars was indeed Kino. Mm, oh my they never God. are. No. All right. <laughs> let's let's get into the game, folks. We've all been we all did our research, all three of us. Florian hasn't seen, I think, any of the movies nominated <laughs> in any category. But we all did our best research and I I have to assume we all think we're gonna win this competition. Is that safe to say, boys? Absolutely. Well, I, I'll only win if you guys are terrible. <laughs> so I guess that'll be fun. Well, let's well, start luckily off. for you, we are. <laughs> yeah, let's start off yeah. with The Big Honcho. Which film will win Best Picture? Here are the nominees, folks, in alphabetical order. Black Panther, Black K. Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. lots of Bs this year, folks. The Favorite, Roma, Green Book, A Star is Born, and of vice now how should we do this boys? should we have a, a rotating uh a panel so that the same person doesn't answer first for each category yeah wow, let's how do that. complicated <laughs> it's not that complicated okay florian <laughs> of those films what do you think will win the oscar well the best picture? i think i'm gonna have to as, a, as i said i'm just gonna go with the most pretentious choice so it's gonna mm -hmm. be black panda God. <laughs> black panda black wait black panda <laughs> It's not even like nominated. <laughs> wow. Uh, somehow pandering to both the Asian audiences and the black audiences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought pandas were black and white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> surprised there's no Infinity War, but yeah, it's it's Black Panther. You're surprised about that? <laughs> well, I don't know. Black Panda is just as stupid. <laughs> no, 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 but that has the black audience attached to it. So, but Black Panda is literally in Infinity Wars. Well, Florian, give us a, a little bit of uh, explanation. Why do you think or why do you want Black Panther to win? Well, I mean, I, as I said, it's the most pretentious choice for the job, so it's going to be the one that wins, even though I, I guess there used to be this meme that, that Oscar's so white, but then is that real? I don't know. I think if it was real, then they're going to go super black this time, so I'm sure... <laughs> Black did, don't crack. Is they they went super this. black last year or the year before when oh, Moonlight man. won. They went black and gay. But then well, again, oh. once you go black, you don't come back. So maybe every <laughs> year Black Panther will win this year, the next year Black Panther 2. <laughs> <laughs> they have to make a new Black Panther every year just so that it can well, win an Oscar. Yeah, they're going to go blacker than before, even now. Oh, damn. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know how you could. E. Rich, who I... do you think is going to win the Oscar for Best Picture? All right, so this is this is definitely a uh, a difficult subject because I feel like they gave Black Panther the nomination this year because they've been getting a lot of shit in the past couple of years for not nominating these more popular, populist movies uh, that general audiences have actually seen. They usually nominate things like Moonlight that nobody fucking saw, and then that <laughs> I ends saw up it over La La Land. No, I know, and I saw it too. <laughs> but like, basically. I think Black Panther is going to be there mainly as a make good to uh, uh, reassure people. Um, I think that Green Book would be kind of the normie tier favorite. Uh, oh, God, I hope is... not. 
that that might that might cinch the win here. Um, no, my no, pick would be please, Roma. God. However, no. what I think is going to win, and what my official prediction is, Black K Klansman will win Best Picture. This will be a legacy win for uh, Spike Lee because his uh, movies have not won Best Picture or Best Director before, as far as I know. Um, and they can get all of the goodwill that you can get with uh, Black Panther winning with Black K Klansman. So that that is my prediction. Black K Klansman takes the best picture. When it wins, do you think the the scene from the film they'll show is the very ending where the they they one. just show footage of actual <laughs> people getting hit by a car at a fucking uh, mm -hmm. uh, Charleston or whatever the fuck? No, absolutely. This yeah, is yeah, Oscar's attempt sense. to get in with the fuck Trump, uh, never Trump, uh, that entire thing. Like if they give Black K Klansman the thing, they can just fucking show that part of the movie and people oh, will be sure happy you're right i guess that is more pretentious fuck i missed that <laughs> <laughs> all right boys so let me give you a real answer to this category oh, fuck. now there are many ways to approach your oscar predictions you can try to be cynical and say okay i'm you rich uh, it's a bunch of uh, old, uh, stuffy white people voting in the Oscars. I assume they're going to want to try to be woke and they're going to vote for this one. Or you can do the other approach, which is I believe I am such a keenographer. I'm such a keno man that surely my personal opinion is also the objective truth about what is the best art. So for all of these categories, I'm going to pick my actual favorite choice not what i think will win but what i would vote for because i have so much confidence in myself so with all that being said the film that will win the oscar for best picture boys are you ready for this black oh my panther God. It's gonna be Black what Panther. Let me tell you. Off. Let me tell you why. Fuck off. <laughs> Diversity is our strength, and this is a film where ninety-five percent of the cast is the same race. That's the most diverse movie I've ever fucking seen, boys. <laughs> Diversity is our strength, baby. Oh, oh, Wakanda forever. Oh, best picture of the year, baby. You gotta do the hands. You gotta do the hands, man. I th didn't I do it? Oh, you fucking okay. It's behind. Uh, yeah. this, is so, this is so arrogant of you. So, 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 ignorant, so ignorant. It's obvious that there's a million different races of black people in this movie and, and you, with your <laughs> different race mind. i think wow. you what do you mean by Florian. races maybe different nationalities but within the context of the film they're all wakandan so i don't know florian making it very clear that there's some black people he likes more than others whoa <laughs> oh no who's the black master race oh no whoa <laughs> uh here can one of you guys uh write down all of our answers for these so we don't have to listen back to this podcast well, one of us or one of the audience? You, one of you two. I'm trying to pull I'll up something, it. but if I... Okay, okay. Best picture, it. we've got no, me and Florian... No, I, I, I gotta do it, because because Erich has the louder keyboard. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Florian said Black Panda. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. Florian, write that down. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna write, write it down. No, wow, you wow. You misunderstood me. I said Black Panda. How <laughs> insensitive of, of Erich to mock somebody for their accent. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Where's the cultural sensitivity, E. Rich? If, if Florian <laughs> somehow wins by putting Black Panther as best picture, I will I will officially go on strike from Izakino and protest his win. What? I, I what uh, oh, be because because uh, he actually said Black Panda. So yeah, he said okay. Black Panda. <laughs> okay, well. You incredible pedant. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what, what did you say again, E. Rich? Uh, Black K. Klansman. Okay, I'm just gonna say KKK. And Black <laughs> if I'm gonna be um, if I'm gonna be Shit. realistic, I think Roma will win, but I'm fucking locking in oh, Black wow. Panther. I'm locking in Black Panther, folks. Make it official. Here's the thing: Did any of the Oscar people see Roma? Who fucking cares? They're just gonna. Oh, they're the it, fucking voters, it's my a, dude. It's about Mexicans, and Trump hates them. Let's just give them the win. Am I right, boys? I, I mean, that, that's what you just right. said about Black K Klansmen. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess so. Whatever. I I picked Black Panther because it was objectively the best film of the year. Let's move did on. on. Next. I'm sorry. Did Quaron win anything for Gravity? I don't fucking remember. Well, should he? Is that even this year? 
No, that was no. many, many years ago. Hey, let's move on oh. to All our right, guesses right. for the best director. Your nominees are Alfonso Cuaron, Yorgos Lanthimos for the favorite, mm -hmm. Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, Spike Lee for Black K Klansman, Adam McKay for Vice, and Powell Paulyskowski. Li for Kowski, Kowski. for Cold War, a movie I did not mm -hmm. even know existed. A, a movie I'm seeing this weekend, actually. Oh, okay. Are these in order? I, I must have written them down out of order somehow. I'm just going. They're in order of the movie title. No, I mean the the director. I mean the, the category. I'm just I, I'm I basing the category order off of a Hollywood Reporter. But E. Rich, what oh. is your choice for director? All right, so this is pretty normally the director wins the same as the best picture. So if, if the director of oh, one movie wins, most likely the the uh, the movie that wins will be the same as the director directed. But okay. in this case, I'm going to split them up. I'm going to say that Alfonso Cuaron is going to win for Roma. I think Roma is going to take director and a bunch of the uh, other awards, which we'll get to those. But they'll give the actual best picture to Black Kate Klansman. So, yeah. Uh, Alfonso Cuaron for... Um... All right. Stupid, stupid. Let me give you... <laughs> Here's who's actually going to win Best Director, folks. It's going to be an upset. So much of an upset that it will be talked about for history, for the rest of history. Damn. Because the winner will be somebody who didn't even get originally nominated. But then when they vote, they'll decide, <laughs> they'll, they'll realize he truly was the best. Of course, I'm talking about Ryan Coogler, the director of Black Panther. Uh... <laughs> How can the best film of the year not have the best director of the year, folks? I think they'll realize they made a racist decision not nominating him, and Ryan Coogler's going to pull it out. I don't know. What do you guys think? For uh, for animated feature, are you just going to say the fight between Black Panther and uh, what's my call? And the Killmonger? Killmonger. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the Rhinos. looking animated part. Yeah. It's just going to be everything. It's going to be Black Panther. Damn it. <laughs> do, I, do I have to pick something that was actually nominated, or can I can I stick with Ryan Googler? No. You, you if you want to lose. Want. Fine. Fuck. I, I'll pick uh, Powell Pawlowski oh, oh. then. <laughs> I'm going with, I'm going all in on Powell Pawlowski because he has a stupid fucking name. Which I don't even know what Cold make? War is. Oh. Just put Dr. Pavel and we'll know who we're talking about. When you write it down, Doctor Paul will write the movie down. That'll be easier. <laughs> okay, Florian, which director do you think is gonna win? I'm gonna go with Black's Klansman because wow, it's obviously Spike it's got obviously the second most pretentious movie. So <laughs> there we go. And and come on, just the the amazing directing. Do you remember the floating faces? What directing? Oh, oh my god, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn. That movie had some stupid directing choices. I mean, it was definitely choices, though. You kind of can't. Oh, yeah. The the, the utmost oh, artistic yeah. merit. I'm not saying it was a mistake. I'm saying it was mm -hmm. a stupid choice. Right, right. Speaking of stupid yeah. choices, let's take a look at uh, who they nominated <laughs> for Best Actress, folks. Oh, God. We've got, lead Actress? Uh, yeah, Best Lead Actress. Mm -hmm. We've got... And did you write down all those uh, answers, Florian? Yeah, I, I got e with Roma and you was Cold War. Okay, good. <laughs> Best Actress, <laughs> Yalitza Apicaricio for Roma, Glenn Close for The Wife, Olivia Colman for The Favorite, Lady Gaga for A Star is Born, and Melissa McCarthy for Can You Ever Forgive Me? And uh, it's Wait, my turn to go first. So I'm Does gonna she say play herself, Lady Gaga, just out of curiosity. No, no. Well, she plays a kind of. I mean, she plays an artist who starts off kind of original and cool, and then sells out to play a bunch of shitty pop music. So yeah, I'd Lady say it's Gaga pretty much was discovered by Bradley Cooper, though. <laughs> Does she dress up like Lady Gaga? Oh my god. <laughs> I th We're I think far from the shallows now. Florian. Bradley Cooper has uh, uh, discovered many women, Erich. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Let's say. <laughs> Sure, yes. Boys, again, my choice is going to be unprecedented in Oscar history because the oh, actress God. who will win is actually winning for the wrong movie. I think the best actress oh. of the year was Melissa McCarthy in oh. The Happy Time Murders. I think Fuck there was a typo. You. Fuck you. They accidentally said, can you ever forgive me? But I'm going all in. Melissa McCarthy, best actress of the year. 
by far. She had to act with puppets, folks. Puppets. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to act alongside a puppet? They can't even fucking emote. They're just made of fucking fur and shit. Oh, come on. They, they emote pretty well. <laughs> they emote as well as fucking Autistic Everich over here typing on his keyboard because he doesn't like my answer. Well, that, that would be me, I guess. I wasn't <laughs> typing on my keyboard, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, E. Rich, what is your pick for best actress? All right, my pick for best actress is Olivia Coleman. Um, Olivia Coleman is a famous British actress who hasn't really been in a lot, but she was absolutely amazing in the, in the favorite. Did either of you guys see the favorite? Sheepover no. and I are going to see it uh, this weekend. All right, it is just an absolutely spellbinding performance from an actress who has not gotten her due uh, in any uh, way, shape, or form yet. And I, it's what I hope who gets it and i also think that this is closest i don't think they'll give it to lady gaga i don't think they'll give it to melissa mccarthy i feel uh, like give it to glenn close you're no, just kind of wrong if they saw happy time murders they're gonna say wow melissa mccarthy is a great <laughs> actress she deserves how do you how do you give two of the best performances in a year most people can't melissa mm -hmm. mccarthy mm -hmm. proved that it's possible florian what is your pick uh i've got glenn close as the the wife but i've not seen any of these women so i guess it was a pretty random guess well that's a good guess because she just won the golden globe for best actress so if uh, the oscars follow suit you might have an easy point on your hands flory how do i do it so the, the the thing i guessed was just that the wife sounds like the most feminist movie so <laughs> it'll have to be that one i guess <laughs> But you never know. Uh, okay, well, uh, uh, who was the first person to answer the first round? Was it Florian? I think it was you. Oh, yeah, yeah the first me. round, I don't know. All right, we're going to go to Best Actor. Florian, it's your turn. The nominees are Christian Bale for Vice, Bla Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born. <laughs> Blackley Cooper. Bla <laughs> well, was he a Black K. Klansman? Uh, William Dafoe for William. At Eternities. Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, not Sasha Baron Cohen for Bohemian Rhapsody and Viggo Mortensen for The Green Book. Mm. Florian, go. Wait, Sasha Baron Cohen was in Bohemian Rhapsody? He was no, supposed he to be, but he they they said oh. that his idea for the movie was too interesting, so they went with somebody else. <laughs> I mean, it would have been hilarious, but sure, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so I, I got... Viggo Mortenstein in Green Book. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is up with you Austrians right. so obsessed with the Steins all the time? Write that down. Oh, if, if Viggo Mortenstein does not win for <laughs> Green Book, I can't get that. E Rich, I, I'm going to have to flog you for your incredibly <laughs> botantic attitude. I, mean, I, I stayed up till, till like 2 a.m. for you, and this is what I get. Yeah. You're broadcasting to America, Florian. Speak American. True. Yeah, that's that's a, a clearly American name, right? Right, Mortensen. Okay, I guess maybe. But yeah, anyways, there. So, so why did another, you pick him for Green Book? Well, it seems like another pretentious big, just uh, another black life thing movie. It'll be that one for sure. But I guess he's not the black guy. So <laughs> yeah, I believe in that movie, Viggo Mortensen uh, learns not to be racist against orcs rather than orcs. Oh wow! Wait, was he in in Bright? No, God no. Viggo Mortensen was Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Oh wow, he's seen better days. <laughs> yeah. Wait, very what? Much. That can't be right. It is right. I, wow. I'm gonna look this up. This can't be right. Okay. <laughs> used to be really sexy, huh? Oh All right. Oh my God. E. Rich, what's wow, your pick right. for best it's actor? Ah, oh, God, this is a hard one for me. Um, I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say they're gonna give it to Bradley Cooper. Uh, because for his role the... in Avengers and in, uh, Infinity War, yeah, yeah, yeah as right, Rocket right. Raccoon, as Rocket yeah. Raccoon. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think that they kind of snubbed him for best director for A Star Is Born. So as oh, a kind geez. of make good, they might give him the best lead actor uh, here. I didn't see A Star Is Born. I didn't see most of the movies on this list. Oh wow! The only one I actually saw was Vice. And, uh, and you think they snubbed him, but you didn't see him. Damn! I just heard that that movie was well directed for a uh, first time kind of shot at directing um but uh i haven't seen anything else on here christian bale did a good job in vice but i don't think he did enough in that to really earn a best uh lead actor no nah, so there you go all right boys you've so, put me what's the name? what what was the name he said uh bradley cooper 
Okay. All right. Boys, you've put me in an interesting predicament here because you've left me with the three options left. Two of them have already won awards this year for best performance. Christian Bale won for uh, best comedic performance at the Golden Globes, and Rami Malek, of course, won for best uh, dramatic performance. Is that right? Am I making that up? No, I think you did. I think you're right. Okay. So, obviously, I'm going to go with Willem Dafoe for his role in Spider-Man 1 as the Green Goblin. (laughs) (laughs) He was fucking scary. hero! When I was five, man, he scared the shit out of me. He threw a pumpkin bomb that turned a guy into a skeleton. Yeah. That wasn't even in the script. Even Out, Ra- am I? Even Raimi was scared of that shit. <laughs> Willem Dafoe went fucking crazy. So I think he's overdue for an Oscar from the 2001 or two film Spider-Man. So Willem I, Dafoe I hope, is my choice for best actor this year. I have not I even heard he, of that Eternity's Gate. I hope the Academy doesn't tell him. Back to formula. <laughs> oh, Back to formula. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Harry. Don't tell Harry. <laughs> All right, let's yeah. let's move on to best supporting <laughs> actress. Say it. We, do you want me to read them all as uh, I guess as uh, the Green Goblin? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Amy Adams, Vice. <laughs> Marina De Tavira, Roma. Regina King, If Beale Street Could Talk. Emma Stone, The Favorite. <laughs> Rachel Weisz, The Favorite. And E. Rich, it's your turn. All right, so. I have seen four of the performances on here. I would not say that Amy Adams was in nearly enough of Vice to give me a super good impression of what she did there. I don't even know what the fuck the character from Roma is. It's probably her friend, the friend role in that movie. I'm going to give it to either one of the uh, the favorite actresses here, either Emma Stone or Rachel Weisz. And because Rachel Weisz is just uh, in the movie a bit more, I think, overall, I'm going to give it to Rachel Weisz for the favorite. Stupid again, Erich. The answer is staring us in the face. Erich, do you remember that transgender movie where Mm -hmm. the the, the male, the cis white male, won the Oscar for playing a trans character? Yeah, the. the, uh, What the fuck is that actor's name? Uh, 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 what's his name from fucking Fantastic Beasts? Uh, yeah, and he he was also in that really bad, uh, 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 yeah, uh, Albert Einstein movie. Or wait, no, was no, it him? no. He was in that movie where, oh God, what was it? It was like that space Jupiter movie, <laughs> Jupiter Ascending. He gave yeah, an amazing yeah. performance oh in that. Oh my God! But the point I'm getting at is they love to give, and also, uh, uh, um, uh, Thirty Seconds to Mars. That fucker guy. He uh, he played uh, a transgender person too, and he also won. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they love to give the Oscar to transgender roles, and I'm looking oh, at man. right here on screen, a. a an actress, right? They say it's an actress, but Damn. Regina King. It doesn't say Regina Queen, folks. Regina King. <laughs> if a Damn. king is nominated for actress, that sounds like some transgender shit to me, folks. I Regina King taking home the Oscar, baby. I think what you're forgetting is we were Regina King. <laughs> we was <laughs> Regina King, and yeah. we was win the Oscar. Florian, yeah. what are you going with? Well, we got Mumkey Jones playing the 40 chess and an Erich countering with a, with a, a double checkers attack. <laughs> double <Beautiful>. checkers attack? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Just making up. I mean, a double checker is called the king, so I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got uh, Marina de, Travi, de Tavira from Roma. So yeah. Because it's the one that's the hardest to pronounce. Not just because of the diversity. Virginia King is far more diverse. A transsexual, uh, transgender, black uh, uh, human. T- that's very diverse. A human? Wow, you really. I, I didn't want to now. assume their gender. Or their species. Hmm. Well, did you write down all of our choices? Should we move on? I, I need Everett's choice again. What he said it? Rachel Weiss for the favorite. Just put Rachel. She is my favorite. Uh, All right. Who's hotter in the film? I have to know. Emma Stone or Rachel Weisz? Um, Emma Stone, probably. Yeah, frog foo all the way. Let's <laughs> move on to a real talented category, folks. Best Supporting Actor. None of this actress shit. It's his turn, if you ask me. We have Mahershala <laughs> Ali for Green Book. Adam Driver 
for Star Wars Episode Eight. <laughs> Sam Elliott for A Star Is Born. Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me? And Sam Rockwell for A Vice. And is it my turn? Um, I think it's my turn to go first. Okay, go. Well, um, no, no, because no, you just did Rachel shows. Weiss. You fuck. <laughs> cheating ass fuck. We can choose the same option. It's not like we can steal your fucking guess. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, over the last four decades, we've seen many great villains grace our screens. But I would argue perhaps the greatest written villain of all time is Kylo Ren. That's right. I'm going with Adam <laughs> Driver. Holy shit. Overlooked for episode seven. Overlooked for episode eight. The Academy has to say sorry. Have you ever seen a character more complex more cool than Kylo Ren? <laughs> Fuck Darth <laughs> Vader, man. That's not a real menacing villain. Kylo Ren is so deep because he thinks, maybe I should be good, or maybe I should be bad, or I'll just be bad. What a complex character. How are these movies for kids? I, I'm an adult and I couldn't even understand it. Holy shit! <laughs> And Adam Driver brought so much to that role, man. He looked constipated. He got mad and screamed <laughs> like Nicolas Cage. Bit, yeah. He he was an angsty teenager, even though he's 38. Man, what a mm -hmm. what a fucking mm -hmm. great character! <laughs> oh, Adam Driver, he's driving me straight to victory here, folks. <laughs> E. Rich, uh, your turn. To uh, uh, nominate an actor for a TV show, famously his work in Girls. <laughs> Fuck girls. Yeah. All right. No, so, really, I want right. to fuck some girls. Is this so bad? I say, I do. Um, supporting actor. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, how could I not give it to a uh, a very bad George W. Bush impression? In <laughs> um, no, no, no. Of course, I'm not going to give it to Sam. You're going to give it to Will um, Ferrell? I'm going to give it to an actor that I haven't seen in a movie. I haven't seen Richard E. Grant because Florin and I did fucking with Nail and I, and uh, oh I thought God. that was a good movie. What so Richard E. Grant, I think, has the chops to get the best supporting actor. What uh, is With Nail left? and I? What is this? With oh, Nail it's... and I was a movie. It, it's, it's the latest movie in the ranting hobo genre that we've seen. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Ranting hobo genre? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That sounds awesome. Like, yeah, I bet. And it gets a bit tiring, though. And this one was like a semi wealthy hobo who just doesn't care. I, I guess he's from a... A rich family, just just down on his luck yeah. though, and not not wanting to work. Even his uncle tries to fuck his friend. I, I don't know if you've seen Green Book. I don't remember if you said you did, but why did you not pick Mahershala Ali when he is the true detective of 2019? Oh, that's Damn. true. If it were Mahershala Ali for True Detective, I would definitely give it to to the True Detective himself, Mahershala. And I hope he shows up in his old man makeup <laughs> to accept that award. And he hey, forgets that. No spoilers. I haven't seen True Detective season three <laughs> yet. I'm waiting to binge uh, it. Fuck. Come fuck. on. Damn. And Florian, what is your pick? Well, of course, the pretentious pick once more is to pick the black guy in the black movie. <laughs> yeah! <Rainbow>. Yeah! <laughs> and I gotta say, Kylo Ren is a good character, but the fact that he didn't he didn't help them in, in liberating that casino planet, he, he's just not the guy that we wow. need to vote for here. Capitalist pig. I know. What, what a fool. He... He probably went to that casino plant to buy some TIE fighters instead of instead of actually overthrowing the, the capitalism. We, we can't have this Florian, kind of Florian, you clearly did not understand the nuances of this film. Let me let me spell it oh, out no. for you. Let me spell it out for you, you fucking no, but idiot. The, but we, we, we will forces. win. We will win not by destroying what we hate, but by saving what we love. Oh, it's no. a smart line from a good character. <laughs> Even to this day still defends this line? Yes, because he interprets it as uh, an attack on the Trump administration. He says, you know what? We don't need to destroy Trump. We just need to protect those who he wants to hurt. You know, oh, I God. love it when, when real life politics infiltrate a four, uh, four decades of a story and then tries to change it. It's great. Uh, Amazing. Irish. Every word that you just said was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it is. I said it. 
<laughs> How many of these do we want to do? Do we really want to do fucking uh, best screenplay and all that shit? No. Oh, God. Might as well. Oh. Um, I'm going to scroll down to see if there's any. We could do best cinematography. That's a good one. Okay. Right. Best cinematography, folks. And uh, Florian, did you write down all the answers for that last category? Uh, yeah. Okay. Got R Richard E. Grant and Adam Driver and <laughs> Green Book. Perfect. Wait, what? For cinematography? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was talking the about the previous one. one. All right. Best cinematography. The nominees are The Favorite, Never Look Away, Roma, A Star is Born, and Cold War Florian Go. <laughs> oh, me? Well, I, I'm going with The Favorite. Uh, Bobby Ryan, I guess, is the... Wait, does that make sense? That, is that who's nominated? Yeah, Anyways, yeah. Robbie Ryan is the name. I, I haven't seen the movie, but I, <laughs> I've seen the most pretentious YouTuber of all time put it at the top of his list. I'm talking about I Hate Everything. He put the favorite in the top 50 movies of his list. The, the number one best movie, his favorite. And <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone more pretentious, so he's got to have this vote. Did he it's not see Show Dogs last year or what? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's my favorite. That's the, only, that's the only explanation is that he just didn't see Show Dogs. Do you think that Show Dogs was snubbed um, for best animation to make the dog look like it was talking? Absolutely. Uh, best yeah, special that's effects? That's real animation. It's a dog. <laughs> yeah, but they had to animate the mouth. Damn. Yep. Yep. Damn. That must be why they were snubbed. Yeah. Too bad. All right. The favorite goes to Florian. What do you got, E. Rich? All right. So for cinematography, I've only seen two of these movies, Robbie Ryan's The Favorite and Alfonso Cuaron, who did the cinematography for Roma. I'm going to give it to Roma. Uh, Roma is all in black and white, and Alfonso Cuaron just is so great at setting up shots and letting the camera kind of... There's a scene where they track a family going into uh, a, a very like choppy waters uh, on a beach, and the camera somehow is, is going underwater, and is like staying basically stock still and following them out to the out to the, the surf and it's just so amazingly shot and it looks incredible it's so sumptuous and i'd say roma is definitely the deserving one from here although i haven't seen all the movies so, now you know. e rich <laughs> here's your big mistake buddy you are still valuing the artistry and the technical prowess behind the tracking shot but unfortunately i think it's time is far overdue We've already had so many great tracking shots. We've had our true detectives. We've had our bird men's. We've had our it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Charlie works. I think people are getting sick of these epic tracking shots and that it will not be respected Damn. like it was in, in years past. I'm sorry. How can you debate that? <laughs> well, what's Thank your good choice? Shit. Good. Did, did you mute to eat more pizza? <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Asshole. Well, you don't hear him? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so what, does that make it my turn then? Boys, yep. let me tell you why A Star is Born will win Best Cinematography. You guys haven't seen it. I've seen it. There's a scene where Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are naked taking a bath together. Of course, all the soap and suds are covering up their jiggly Damn. bits. You can't see anything. You get to see full penetration. Wait. Wait. <laughs> oh. Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga get into a scuffle, a bit of a fight. Bradley Cooper leaves the bathroom. And thanks to the great cinematography, for one split second, as he's shutting the bathroom door as he's leaving, <laughs> we see Lady Gaga standing full nude, full frontal, baby. You see everything, but it's only for one split second. And I have to assume the cinematographer put the camera in that exact spot just so that we'd have one split second of Lady Gaga. And now if you Google it, you can see just a perfectly fine screenshot of full-on Lady Gaga nude. Uh, that's why it's the best cinematography of the year. I mean, any other film would have hidden those breastuses the entire time. Oh, my God. Damn, the movie I, I picked has a dude doing karate completely naked and his dick's just flopping around. Nobody so, wants uh, to see a floppy uh... dick. They want to see Lady Gaga's breastuses. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's oh, move on God. to the only category that the fucking losers in the audience give a shit about, the best animated feature. Ooh, finally. That's right. We've the got one. Incredibles 2, Isle of Dogs, Mirai, Mirai? I don't know. Ralph Breaks the Internet, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And, E-Rich, I think it's your turn. 
Well, you know, I think it's about time the Academy steps it up and gets something right. I think that Incredibles 2 was kind of a letdown. Ralph Breaks the Internet was good, but not quite as good. I haven't seen Mirai, so it's possible that they'll just give it to that because I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> you Wait, you think they'll just give it to a fucking anime film? <laughs> but oh my if, God. if things go correct, and I hope they do, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse will win animated feature. And wow. people will fucking go crazy. How does that even make sense? They couldn't even keep one frame rate up the entire movie. <laughs> how will that even work? Also, how do you expect a Spider-Man film that featured neither Willem Dafoe or J. Jonah <laughs> Jameson? How do you think that possibly stands a chance of winning anything? They took out wow, the two best characters. Like you fucking well, idiot. they injected diversity. I mean, what more do you want? Injected? <laughs> it's like a cure yes the, okay. the, the one cure to cure everything damn all right florian who's gonna win best animated feature you you are an animator yourself you animated the binding of isaac by hand oh each frame my God. i wish but i gotta say i don't think i've ever seen a movie more pretentious than the isle of dogs or at least not an animated movie so i'm gonna go for that one have you ever seen a wes anderson film <laughs> at all who is and that? He's the director. He's all, the director. All of his movies are exactly that pretentious. Well, what what movies has he made? Uh, Moonrise Kingdom. Steve Zissou, Moonrise Kingdom. Fucking uh... fantastic, Mr. Fox. Oh yeah, no, I, I, yeah, of course. But I'm sure this one is the the pinnacle of that, right? Mm, it's. I don't think it's his best work, but uh, but it's your choice. I mean, not his best work, but surely his most pretentious. I mean, the whole. The whole area of China attacking dogs. I mean, come China. On. <laughs> Did you watch Isn't the same Japan? movie? <laughs> yeah. Wait, was it not China? <laughs> Fucking racist. Yeah, it's Japan. <laughs> what really? Damn. Why is Florian racist against Asians? Yeah. First Black Panda, now this. Yeah, this movie's oh, not God. about eating the dogs. They were getting rid of the dogs. It's, it's in Japan, <laughs> not China. But the dogs eat each other. Mm. <laughs> the Chinese dogs. Damn. <laughs> uh, Monkey, for shits and giggles, can we have Florian try to guess which original song is going to win? Because oh, it's very wow. clear what will win, but I don't think that Florian knows that. Well, if I can f choose the best animated feature, you fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. God damn. It, how, does Everich always meant, meant, how does Everich always get to go second? That, that's pretty crazy. We, uh, we just let it happen. I feel like I'm switching <laughs> it up a bit, but folks. Oh. Here's what we've got left. We've got two fantastic sequels, Incredibles 2 and Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph 2. Wow. Two, both you films that Im improved on the original completely. Great films. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? I, I would say, honestly, both of the original films were pretty bad, and then these sequels came out and really <laughs> it injected diversity in the sense of uh, being a good movie. Oh, my God. A whole new type of diverse uh, injection. <laughs> the diversity wow. of being good. Uh, and then we've also got some uh, random weeb shit. So I'm going to have to go with the random weeb shit. I'm going to oh boy. Gonna say Mir Mirai is, is going to take it. Mirai, be yeah. Because as I was scrolling down, the character, the female character listed for Mirai looked identical to the female character in Your Name. And I at first I thought this was a nomination for Your Name from like two wow. years ago. <laughs> so I, considering the fact that all of these characters look exactly the same from movie to movie, I'm going to have to go with Mirai because it made me think of Your Name, which was at least a 5.5 out of 10 film. You know, the, oh, at least 5.5. <laughs> the Academy really <laughs> fucked up by not nominating Your Name for Best Picture. They're making up for it, and that's why they're going to give it to Mirai because clearly the same character is, is now in a different film. They look the same. Right. Uh, you you wanted right. to do Best Original Song? Yeah, yeah, I just want to hear what Florian says it's going to be. All right, and maybe this will be our last category. How's that sound? I think we're, we've got That's enough different point. answers that there's going to be one clear winner, probably. Right, right. <laughs> Best original <laughs> song. We've got All the Stars from Black Panther. I'll Fight by RBG. Uh, the Place Where Lost Things Go in Mary Poppins Returns. Shallow in A Star is Born. And when a cowboy trades his spurs for wings in the ballad of Buster Scruggs. <laughs> and I think it's my turn to go first. No, no, no. I want to hear Florian's first because oh I don't think Florian God. knows anything about. Okay. About here. Uh, he, I don't know anything about what? 
about any of these songs other than I guess the ballad from Buster Scruggs. He also saw Black Panther. Yeah, yeah but I, mean, I don't think he he doesn't stay for any of the credits. <laughs> oh wait, was that in the credits? Yeah, yeah. Oh my it was god, probably the my first song weakness. that played. I, I I put that I put that as my choice because it's Black Panther, but I didn't I didn't realize that I didn't hear it because it was in the credits. That is hilarious. I just did, did you say the credits that... are your one weakness? Do you like sprint out of the theater as soon as the movie oh, ends? Yeah, I do, man. I hate, I hate <laughs> credits. And at that point, I've been sitting for like almost two hours. It's yeah, going to be at, done. But in these Marvel movies, you know that there's going to be more scenes after the credits. Every other movie, I'm I'm on board. But why do you leave during a Marvel movie? You're missing like half of the film. Mm -hmm. Well, I just don't want to encourage this disgusting behavior of putting the good stuff behind the credits. Mm -hmm. So fuck them. <laughs> good point. All if, right. if they've got something good to show, show it before the credits. Simple. Good point. Well, Florian, I'll just say that you're wrong. It's obviously going to be Shallow. Shallow is going to win this one. No. What? No, shut up. Okay, here's here's what's really going to win, folks. I'll even sing it. I know this song so well I can sing it. This wow. is my fight song. <laughs> Take back my life song. Fuck Donald Trump song. <laughs> That's right. I'll fight in the Ruth Bader Ginsburg film. I have to assume that the the fight song. I think it's by Katy Perry or something. I from like 2013. I assume that's what this song is. Is that is that right? Is that what I'll fight is? Uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> However, that uh, that Ruth Bader Ginsburg movie uh, on the basis of sex has the most hilarious trailer where she says something like. like uh, the judge says something like, the word women doesn't appear anywhere in the Constitution. <laughs> and she just says, neither does freedom. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, like, does she it has just a British accent? Off. It doesn't? Uh, it, Felicia, whatever the fuck that actress's name, does have a British accent. Why, why would you cast a British person she's as trying to get rid of it in the trailer? She's trying to get rid of it in the trailers, but it's so clearly there. <laughs> Neither does freedom. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's like a Walter White moment when he's talking to Hank on the bed. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You're right. I don't believe it. I think freedom is in the Constitution. It <laughs> must be. You think Ruth Bader Ginsburg would get that wrong? Did nobody Maybe. fact check this film before they put it out? Well, it would just be the character who gets it wrong, right? I, I don't think I don't think they made a Ruth Bader Ginsburg movie where she doesn't know what's in the Constitution. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, oh, wait, it's yeah. the song "Here Comes the Change" by Kesha. Is, is that <laughs> the fight song? Or maybe it's <laughs> I don't know. Can't knock me down. All right, did you write down those answers, Florian? Are we done here? Here it says "Shallow" and Mumkey has "I'll Fight," I guess. Yeah, I'll fight. That's right. All right. Well, that's it. How many did we do? Eight categories, Florian? Is do that we, how do many? Do we not want to do visual effects just so we can say Avengers Infinity War is going to take the day? I, I have a headache, and I want to take medicine and take a All break. Right. So All right. If you guys want to, you can get an extra point. Oh, Florian, do you God. think Avengers Infinity War, Christopher Robin, First Man, Ready Player One, or Solo A Star Wars Story will win for visual effects? Well, I got Avengers Infinity War. But I, I, I honestly don't even see how how Christopher Robin made it in there. I mean, what, right, what the fuck right. kind of effects are those? I'm gonna I'm gonna put first man because I couldn't see any of the visual effects in Solo: a Star Wars Story. Just put yeah, put me down for dark. Black Panther. Uh, Black Panther not on this list. No, no, yeah. Black yeah. Panther had the best visual effects of the year. Come on, just put it mm -hmm. down. <laughs> just well, put can't it down. deny it. No. All right, folks. Those are our predictions, so tune in whenever the Oscars are on, and then maybe a day <laughs> after, so we can see which of the three of us is the most Kino-ist kino -er. Who got the most predictions right? And we'll find out and evaluate if the actual winners of all these Oscars uh, were deserving or not. Boys, do you have any last thoughts before we wrap up this episode of Is It Kino? Um, uh... Did you see the scene from Bohemian Rhapsody that's edited like once every second that yeah. they cut yeah. every second? Yeah, Adam that Johnson uh, posted that on editing. Adam Johnson posted that on Twitter and it was very fucking funny. Right. I cannot wait to watch that movie and just fucking mock it the entire time. So, uh I really hope wow. that doesn't win for best editing, but we'll see. <laughs> but he's put in so much work editing every second. How could it <laughs> win? It's not most editing, it's best editing. <laughs> All right, oh, folks. That's how it works. 
for yeah. Is It Kino, I have been Monkey Jones. I remain the host of the Oscars until I make some kind of gay joke from 50 years ago and get in trouble for it, Erich. Well, and I'm the black guy who almost hosted the Oscars but then got kicked out for making You can't fucking jokes. do the same joke as me, you bitch. <laughs> he didn't know oh, what you were the... talking about. Oh, Holy God. Shit. And we'll see you next time. There's like a hundred movies coming out next weekend that yeah, we want to do. Yeah, pretty bad. So oh, man, expect man. like a Kino every day of the week. Uh, yeah, and we wanted to to do Beavis and Butthead as well, and and Watchmen. Mm. We'll get we'll get to those. We'll, we'll get to those later. Don't worry about it, Erich. Oh no! See you next time, I didn't folks. Hear about that. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Beavis and Butthead. All right, I'm gonna go grab some medicine because I'm feeling fucking sick. I'll be right back. All right, Florian and I can uh, take over the stream. Hey, Erich, what was your last choice on that editing thing again? No, wait, visual effects, right? Oh, cool. visual effects was uh, First Man. Damn. That movie is so hard to watch, Jesus. What do the you mean? The entire time. The entire time is just some really uncomfortable music for no reason. It's disturbing. Oh, sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I get sure. How is that? How does that make it better? I mean, damn. All right. So, um, does anybody have questions for me or Florian before Monkey gets back? Yeah, finally you get to talk to the B team. <laughs> yeah, right. The B team. Oh, I, I, it's amazing that I have a I have an emoji. I didn't know that. Wow, do I have an emoji? Oh, I nope. guess that's good emojis. Wow, that's amazing. Are you prepared to send Mumkey the audio? Uh, yeah, I've got it all. Saved. I just have to ask him whether he wants WAV or M3 or what. Yeah, how do we send this? Always a WAV. Always WAV, he says. Oh, really? You, you like the big files? Okay. Sure. I mean, uh, I think we're sending them over to the, the audio guy to edit anyway, hopefully. Oh, I thought the audio guy was made up. Okay. But actually, uh, send it to me first because we, we had to cut out the whole opening after the sync. So just uh, right, send right. them to me. Wait. Oh, but... Wait, so, but if you do the sync, then then what does the audio guy do? <laughs> Makes it sound good. Well, he, oh. he would be the one syncing it, but now uh, I'm just going to do it because we fucked up and I don't want to make it hard on him. And uh, he also makes Erich sound better. <laughs> so that Yes. Be, yeah. Damn. How does he I do need, it? I need that post pro. All right, chat. How's it going? When's the next passage episode? I'm going to hopefully record it tomorrow if I don't actually remain sick like I'm feeling right now. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, let's, uh, I really like having the text-to-speech donations on. I'm gonna turn that back on. That was really funny. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. I can't imagine that being any good, but all right. Well, you guys can't hear it, which is the downside, but I can. <laughs> and I think it's very uh, funny. I, well, I think that's an upside. I wouldn't want to hear that stuff. You don't like having uh, a robot voice read off stupid shit? Oh, no. Certainly not. I, I, I posted the stuff, by the way. The, the the choices I've yeah, made. Picks. Be uh, be amused at my terrible typing. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too loud typing. Uh, it was a little loud. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, it, it was. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be louder in in my audio, I guess. Oh well, poor audio guy. It's fine. It'll all be fine. Okay, <laughs> text to speech is turned back on for five dollars and up, I think. Because I really, yeah, get I think it's really fucking funny. Get your offensive text to speech robot voice in now. Now I have Ooh. it so uh, it doesn't do the offensive stuff. I'm wow. I'm, I'm a genius, folks. So does it? Is the robot actually hooked up with some advanced AI that that knows what will be <laughs> offensive to us humans? <laughs> yeah, it, it's only allowed to say the N word. Everything else is a uh, is banned. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that way it can't be offensive because there's no context. Perfect. All right. Chat, hit us up with uh, discussion topics, questions, anything you want. Uh, I'm feeling sick as shit, so I'm just going to sit here and uh, fade out as I hang out with you guys. Oh, man, what a sickly podcast. Beautiful. Yeah, I was feeling pretty good up until, like, the end of that. I think um, it's because I ate Bojangles fried chicken shortly <laughs> before the podcast. and uh, Also, you did an episode of Izakino, which would make anyone sick. <laughs> yeah, he true. does that every time, you fool. But there's so much fucking grease, delicious, crunchy grease on that chicken. 
I think I <laughs> I need to stop eating fried chicken because every time I regret it and feel so fucking sick afterwards. Why do I keep doing it? It's like I feel oh, the man. craving and I think that'll be really good. And then I'm halfway through eating it and I'm thinking, why the fuck did I eat this? I feel like shit. Right. It's not even that good. It was six fucking dollars. I could have had a turkey sandwich at home. Damn. How much fast the, food uh, do I eat a week? Uh, Snyder. Oh, okay. How, let's let, let's compare. How much fast food do we all eat a week? I probably eat. Oh boy. I think four of my weekly meals are fast food. I think I eat Taco Bell once a week, probably, and that's it. Oh man, I I probably had like five times pizza this week. It was terrible. <laughs> all you eat is fucking pizza. Well, only because now I I guess I recently discovered that I can order stuff online, and ah god, I read I shouldn't have. I should not. <laughs> you order pizza online, and it just shows up, and you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too crazy. Wait, you don't have delivery in Austria until now? Well, no, but we had it. I just was smart enough to avoid it, but no longer. Mm. Oops. No, how how about, fatty. Florian, just give out your address now and we can all send uh, you pizza. Oh yeah, right. my god. What is your address? Free pizza. Mm. Oh, you're, Jesus. Never gonna, you're never going to have to leave your house again, Florian. I, I don't think he was planning on it. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll just be so round that I can't leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you and sheep over fuck? I assume this is a question to E-Rich. Uh, whenever I get down to uh, the state the monkey lives in. <laughs> you don't even remember where I live? I don't want to dox you. I have a P.O. Yeah. box. Oh. It's listed right below the fucking stream. What are you talking about? Oh. It's not a you secret. I have my whole... Like, my P.O. box is within half an hour of my house. Like, it's not a fucking secret location. No, you could make a P.O. box to... across states. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I travel eight hours to pick else. up fucking mail. <laughs> so how, wait, so how many times a week do you fuck that? my girlfriend? Never. Never oh, times well. a week. That's too bad. <sighs> What a bad friend. Uh, she yeah. Girlfriend. Yeah, hey, come on. She needs it. Uh, this guy in the chat said he'll send some cheese pizza to Florian's house anytime. How do you, you want some cheese pizza, Florian? Oh, yeah. Give me all the cheese. Mm. Oh, all shit. the cheese pizza. Florian, don't, don't. He's a big fan of cheese pizza. What? What do you want? You've been caught in a trap. Is that a meme? Oh my god. Uh, no, no, cheese pizza is delicious. Uh, is, is, is that like fish sticks? Uh, no. Uh, Where no. well, you are a gay fish when you like No, them. no, fish sticks are made of fish. Cheese pizza is made of cheese and uh, well, dough. Well, thanks. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Mm, well, gross. <laughs> <bad. laughs> Pick up a Warren, slice of cheese. Hey, they said that they'll get you delivered Cheese pizza from Comet Ping Pong Pizza. That sounds delicious. <laughs> we should go get Damn. some. I doubt mm. they deliver here, but all right. Warren. <laughs> Comet Ping Pong right Pizza. I, I think they. Uh, I think they deliver worldwide based on who you know. Wow. Yeah. How Comet do they do it? I'm sure it'll be warm if it goes around the world. Oh, it better be warm when it gets to you. It'd be a, a true <laughs> tragedy if it was cold. Uh, they probably got a huge quadcopter that actually has live cooks on it, and they just cook the pizza on the way. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, ooh? Uh, how often do you check your email? I I have eight different emails, so eight. it depends on which one. Yeah, I do. I have like eight different emails, so it depends on which one you're talking about. How could you possibly need that many, Jesus? Because every time I had a new YouTube channel, I had to make a new email, and then I would just end up giving them all out. But you didn't need to use them. Mm. Yeah. That just makes things more complicated. Yeah, but then if one of them's getting spammed all day, it's not like my only email source is fucked. I was like, oh, I'll just check my email on a different one. Well, if you have Gmail, then you can just filter <laughs> it out. I'll just fuck myself over eight times. <laughs> Rather yeah. than one or two. Uh, are chopsticks gay? Good question. What? Oh man, is this a is this a slang that I should know about chopsticks? Eridge Skumkey wants to know how often does Eridge get cheese pizza from his students? Do your students bring you cheese pizza? No, I, I don't have pizza parties now. <laughs> really? Oh, now I get it with the pizza gate. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, well, in that case, any pizza would be offensive. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm yeah. Not just Been cheese pizza. Way longer. Yeah. 
longer than the... Eridge, you're disgusting. I don't even know why you... I don't know what you're talking about, but it's really gross. And uh, uh-huh. I don't know why you're talking... What medicine are you taking to feel better? Uh, I took a few uh, ibuprofen. Is it illegal to take medication on Twitch? I guess I'm getting banned again. Oh, no. He's doing, he's doing lines of Coke. How many apples <laughs> does Erich get from his students? Do they bring you apples, Erich? I don't even know what that's code for anymore. So I'm It's not, not a code. That. You bring your teacher an apple because you respect them. I, I yeah, don't. It, it's like Santa Claus. Yeah, you just. Yeah, you give you Santa Claus Santa an Santa apple. Claus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an With, apple and orange juice without spoilers rate the passage trilogy books best to worst uh they came out um you know, you know never mind passage the first one is the best then the city of mirrors the third one is next and then the middle book the 12 it's uh it's kind of mostly filler so i'd say the 12 is the worst but i like all of them a lot Somebody asked, best movie during the dead space of January and February. I mean, the, the answer is obviously Serenity, right? Yeah, Serenity, for sure. That's the first time you've cut <laughs> out this whole stream, so thank God it didn't happen. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I, I did actually buy a fucking giant Ethernet cable, so. Well, it doesn't help if you have a shitty internet hooked up to it. Uh... Do, you, do you think <laughs> Serenity movie posters are available for purchase? Um... Yes. They I have would, to be. I would like to have one, but I but I want one for the new movie. This is for the old movie, Serenity twenty nineteen movie poster, shop. I have monkey. Oh my I have god! An it's only at a movie theater. Oh, do you? Can you get me one? I of could these send posters? you one for free, possibly. Oh, fucking do it! I'm hanging it up. Damn. <laughs> Fun. You have something uh, to cover up that black wall. Perfect. I've got some. People here saying, has Erich spread his opinion on The Last Jedi to his students? I believe <laughs> I have evangelized The Last Jedi to uh, to my yeah. impressionable students. You're really going to sell Star Wars to the kids. They they won't like it otherwise. Did you Have you really told your students about The Last Jedi? <laughs> Not told them about it. It's usually they say, have you seen this movie? And I say, yes. <laughs> oh, have I seen it? Boy... Welcome to the Cuck School. Let me tell you why Kylo Ren is literally the greatest character to ever be put on film. Right, right. I know the oppressed gamer said Last Jedi fucking sucks. It is shitty. Do you think the oppressed gamer <laughs> is wrong, Erich? Wow, I've never seen that level of argumentation before. I don't know how to. It fucking that. sucks and it's shitty. And this it is coming is from a guy who is a self proclaimed oppressed gamer, Erich. Uh, well, well, see, normally Erich would just just fail him his class, but now he's out of his reach. What will Erich do now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my only power over him is gone. Yeah. Somebody said best keyboard to clack on. I don't remember. I think I have a red. <laughs> a <laughs> red a... keyboard? No, there, there's different types of keyboards, and red is one of them. Red, this, red is a type of keyboard. I've, what? I've got a, a quick fire TK CM Storm by Cooler Master. Sheepover um, wants to know, Florian, what are your parents like and what do they do? Yeah. That's a good question. Well, my mom has gone into retirement and now she is well doing. Oh god, she actually started studying law because there's this huge fight over the inheritance and and grandma died like three years ago and they're still fighting over the inheritance. It's terrible. And my my father is a deadbeat, so that's also bad. <laughs> because he's Iranian. That sounds amazing. Yeah, what what a life. <laughs> I can't wait to make a documentary about your parents, Warren. Oh wow. Yeah, that it'll be amazing, I'm sure. <laughs> it'll be sad. When are we gonna get like a Netflix uh, game developer documentary about Florian? They have so many about everybody else. When do we get like? <laughs> here's a day in the life of world famous game creator Florian, and he's just like fucking sitting there on his computer eating pizza for an hour and a half. Well, I thought about working today, but I thought maybe not. <laughs> I just watched I... The Hobbit again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, no, I, I got a lot of work done lately. I, I, oh, that's I got awesome, inspired man. by my mom. <laughs> oh, what, you put in an hour and a half of work this week? That's pretty good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. 
This Florian. And all this time I'm I'm staying up late for you. I try to work. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this guy wants to know if you are friends with Phil Fish. I wish. <laughs> uh, have you met him? I wish on a fish. No. <laughs> <laughs> wish on a fish. I, I guess Edmund knows him, but I I didn't have the honor. <laughs> Fuck Edmund, man. He's never even been on his Aquino. What does he know? <laughs> Damn. Sounds like a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just raising his kid and everything. Why, why does he have only online friends? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> I think this is good. This is a good question. Do you regret kissing Asperger in Monkey Jones Stops the Cool? <laughs> no, I wish I would have done more than kiss him. Maybe he would have uh, fallen for me instead because I, I can fight yeah, him right? back. I know I can take him. We've wrestled <laughs> many a time and I fucking pinned his fat ass down. <laughs> Damn. But you wouldn't have fought that, back because you want to die. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to get choked. Oh no! I was beating, I was beating everyone in arm wrestling. I remember when we were. Hey, I beat what, Rusty what? Cage, and that's all that matters to me. Yeah. Wait, you don't want to get choked? I, I remember no. you telling stories of how you tried to hang yourself just to to know what it feels like to be. Yeah, choked. but at least I'm in control. <laughs> I don't want his fucking grubby <laughs> little fingers that's around my throat. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, he'd also eat, try to eat your size. So I don't know, man. Sounds pretty <laughs> engaging. <laughs> <laughs> I would not let him near my fucking thighs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... I was beating everyone. Quote from Erich, 2019. Yeah, I mean, that's true. He was on top of the world right before the fall into decay. Wow. The rise, fall, and decay of <laughs> Eurich. <laughs> yeah. Florian, they're, they're did you see I put ride. up I put up a new video, Florian, of uh like a supercut of us watching Trump? Oh my god, where is this? It's is on, it on uh, Twitch. It's um, on, on the Twitch. All Hail Chancellor Susan YouTube channel and on my website, monkeyjones.com. Oh, wow. I must see this immediately. I just cut in the eight best minutes of our three hour stream yesterday. Is this the end of my career? Can't wait. <laughs> no, no. Oh, good. I just put in the funny bits. Oh, man. Yeah, all my, my great political commentary will, will definitely be appreciated. Mm. Yeah. Cannot wait. Oh, I can feel the chicken grease just... It's like flowing oh, through my veins. Oh, this dude. Just so disgusting, I feel dude. sickly. I'm never eating Bojangles again. Yeah, dude. Don't eat that shit. I'm if getting... it makes you feel like this... Yeah, I thought I liked it, but I don't. Man, I had a huge discussion about about veganism today on Twitter because because mm -hmm. I posted about Ben and Cherry's ice cream and then people told me I gotta go with the non uh, with the non dairy version to, to prevent cow suffering. What what may, what insanity? And then they they showed me a a reel of of cow oppression. <laughs> did, it, did it affect you at all? Yeah, you're you gonna stop eating cow? dairy now. Oh man, I wish. Well, no, actually, I guess I'd. I'd stop eating meat most of, most of all. I mean, that, that that's so ridiculous. I mean, surely a cow can produce far more milk than, than she can produce meat. No, no, Florian, you're wrong. <laughs> cows famously hate being milked, and by getting the milk out of them, we are hurting the cow. You should not ingest any dairy product. You're, you're supporting oh, farmers no. across the world milking a cow. Horrendous. Well, How barbaric. Yes. How barbaric indeed. We should, when, it, when a baby calf tries to suck from its mother's teat, we should slaughter that calf for the crime of trying to milk a cow. Are you fucking kidding me? Disgusting. Okay, so here's my question, guys. Who is the first person who just went up to a cow and just, like, started sucking on the titty and just been like, yeah, this, this, is, this is cool. I'm e going to do this. Erich, we have to assume that this man observed that the cow's child was drinking from it and realized yeah. there's nutrition coming from it. Absolutely. But, like, you go over to a horse and do the same thing? No, because I don't think a horse can be as easily milked as a cow. No, no. Erich will definitely go to a horse and then suck its huge cock. <laughs> no. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Disavow. <laughs> disavow. Kind of oh, no. This is not you on the E-Rich channel. How dare you? You don't appreciate any any E-Rich commentary? Damn. Well, he got no. him. Twitch, you're only allowed to uh, show your breasts on camera if you're a hot chick. Otherwise, no sexual content allowed. 
Ah, oh, damn! I really gotta worry about that one. You're right. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. Yeah. I'm just such a sexual being. I. I yeah. can't stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're. You're oozing with <laughs> sexual appeal, Florian. <laughs> so much sexual energy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I mean, I had something for this. Oh, well, no. You're, you're gonna gone. you're gonna tell us whether or not you're gonna be a vegan after watching that video. Oh yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll I'll, I'll try to to eat more healthy because I mean it's Join it's certainly me, ridiculous to to eat that much meat and then it's also right. unhealthy. But right. I mean, the obvious problem is actually the the carbs. But whatever, I guess. Yeah. No. It, why are we pretending that it. meat is unhealthy? You can eat. I know, right? You just have to balance it with other shit, but th to cut all meat out completely is fucking retarded. Yeah, but then, well, is that? I mean, if you if you listen to the vegans, then apparently, I mean, if you listen to the Christians, but, then apparently, a fucking Jesus rose on the third day. Who cares what these crazy people think? They don't live in reality. They live in these fucking crazy bubbles in their heads, Florian. You have to eat you meat. Know, You're a man. You know. You don't live in reality. You don't know what happens to these poor, poor animals. I don't you, fucking you, care. monster. God put them yeah, on this I, earth I for them to be slaughtered and for me to eat them and then regret it. Some poor chicken literally <laughs> died so that I could regret eating it because it was too greasy. Oh my god. Somebody, drinking milk somebody in or around my apartment reality. complex just started lighting up weed. Very dank weed. Go join them. Oh, disgusting. Man. So, so, Mom, could you think that now instead of betraying you, all your friends will will turn vegan on you? Oh, uh, I would. You you would not be my friend anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, like I'm flying. Uh, we have a rich. donation that says drinking milk from a cow is bestiality. How do you feel about that, E Rich? <laughs> wait, what? Drinking, wait, what? Drinking milk from a cow how is you, bestiality. How are well, you? If you fucking... drink it directly from a cow, yeah. <laughs> You're not fucking the cow, though. Dude, if you drink directly Okay, from okay, that's it's... enough. That's enough. <laughs> Damn let's it, I'm let's sorry. move on. Move on. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Sheepover's getting upset. Oh no. Damn it, I how can I not respond to this? Yeah. <laughs> Do it on Twitter. Record a face cam <laughs> video and post it to Twitter. Oh no. All the sexual jokes I'm not allowed to make. <laughs> Get Erich on State of the YouTube to talk about the MAGA hat kids. We actually already filmed an episode about that, and by the time it comes out, it will be more than irrelevant. So hopefully they actually post yeah, it right. in a timely fashion. Y'all damn it. This, this, all this perfectionism is ruining the, the State of the YouTube. Perfection. Who I just knows? wanted to come out within two weeks of recording it. I know, but... For all we know, all, all three of you will have lost your YouTube channels by the time and the episode about it comes out. It'll be ridiculous. We can only hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. That's oh, man. I actually, I actually watched an episode where you said, oh, I wish my YouTube channel was deleted. And it was like right before it was deleted. Roses it was are red. bizarre. Violets are twisted. Uh, on, Bend on over, cut you're about to get fisted. Do you think they actually Hong Kong, listen Uba to Duba, it and, and said, Hut, are we going to do it? Insert random shit here. Toys are us. Damn awkward silence. <laughs> no, I, there was a donation that I was listening to. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. What, what were you saying? Uh, you, you said you... You, you were wishing for your YouTube channel to be deleted on, on one of the previous uh, State of the YouTube videos. And yeah, then that sounds like something it, I would it was, say. That was right before it was deleted, though. <laughs> oh, the do ironing. They, do you think they were just obeying your wishes? <laughs> <laughs> do I think YouTube has ever obeyed any of my wishes? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they would have given, it, given you it all, but, but you decided to be deleted. Uh, Papa Vito shame. wants to know, after Asperger, do you think twice about your fan base? Now, I don't understand this question. Can, do either of you have any <laughs> idea what the hell this guy means by that? Was well, there a fan of yours who approached you? or? I mean, yeah, but, but like, what well, does he mean? Do I think twice about my fan base? Maybe I'll think twice about, like, how much information I give to people who I haven't known for that long. I don't know how, what that mm -hmm. has to do with a fan base. Oh, Monkey, I'm just saving up my epic, aw awful, terrible fucking drama bullshit 
uh, for <laughs> when I can really, really seriously well, hurt you. Well, E. Rich, I mean, I, I knew you so. for like three years before we even did any monkey shit, so you've uh, you've got yeah, right, you've right. got plenty on me. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just gonna build it all up. This fucking yeah. monkey leaks. <laughs> Great, I can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even give a shit anymore, man. I don't. What do you? What else is there to take from me? I don't fucking care. <laughs> Say oh, whatever no. you want. I don't. I'll, I'm. I'm already. Um. I'm, I'm on the edge, hanging by a fucking finger. If I. If that finger gets cut off, do you think I care if I fall, man? I don't. I don't give a shit anymore. Oh man. A man with nothing to lose. Evidently, a uh, Susan of YouTube put out a video and it has 45,000 dislikes and less than a thousand likes. <laughs> Damn. Is, is it about why I banned Mumkey Jones, the dangerous school shooter? Yeah, yeah, she had to justify it. Otherwise, nobody <laughs> nobody could accept the, the cold hard reality that I was gone. There's so many people who still care to this day. The fight is still <laughs> going strong, definitely. I know, right? Everybody hasn't People's moved like, on to something else because who cares about me? <laughs> yeah, man, it's real crazy now. Yeah, it, it's just declining constantly. Oh man. Yep, we're we're in the decay section of the career now. Yeah, wow. And you you always knew it it would happen. It's bizarre. How how are you so aware? Are you a time traveler? Yeah, my name is John Teeter. Oh my god. Must not reveal tits. Hmm. <laughs> Must not. <laughs> Who is John Teeter? <laughs> He's a time traveler. He came back in time to more on the internet about the future. He's a hero. Oh, is it? Yeah, I don't get it. Is that not from a movie, is it? Uh, I mean, it's. It, it was like a real life thing, but then also it was in the Steins Gate anime. Oh, wow. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I, I feel like I'm gonna go fucking vomit. What happened? Oh, no. Vom on stream. I should go get Do some V8 so I actually have a vegetable in my system today. <laughs> wow. Is it safe to mix V8 with uh, with booze? I think that's the only way to get it down. What's a V8? It's a, a vegetable-based drink that is 100% vegetable, and it just tastes like cold tomato soup. It's mm. not oh. good. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be, huh? Not Damn. good, no. You see, that's exactly the problem with this vegan shit. Would it be that hard to make it taste good? I mean, no, uh, it's not hard to make it taste good. Yeah, okay. No, <laughs> you, you're wrong. You, you you just lost all your taste when you became a vegan. Wait, E. Rich, you're not a vegan, are you? Didn't you eat my crab yeah. cakes when we went to the bar? I'm pescatarian. So you could eat my crab cake. Yes, I yeah. could eat your crab. Cake. Okay, that's not a fish. Kind it's of. Selfish. Yeah. <laughs> a crab is a fish. It lives in fish water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you can you can eat the manatees as well then. Yeah, it's a fish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely stop it, man. If it lives in water, it's a fish. <laughs> Te yeah, technically, penguins yeah, are fish. penguin is half fish. <laughs> frogs are fish. Fuck, oh, frogs are frog. fucking fish. You can eat frog. <laughs> it's a lean meat. They do it in France. They do it at the Chinese buffet down the street. Oh man! Oh, that's another place. Don't eat at Chinese buffets, folks. This is how I feel every time I eat at the Chinese buffet. Oh god! I just got to stop eating anything that I like and just start being sad all the time. Oh yeah, great idea, man. But what happened to, about the fact that every 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 living creature came from the water originally? Are we all fish? No, because we don't we, we don't live fish? in the water anymore. Oh. Yeah. But then if you take the fish out to eat it, is it still a fish? What? <laughs> yes. Is that Damn. supposed to be a brain teaser? I don't know, man. I'm too tired at this point. Doesn't the food at a buffet sit out all day? Not when I get there in the morning, baby. <laughs> oh, it's all gone. As soon as it comes out, give me one. And then I feel oh, I feel very sick afterwards. Yeah, you really look like a man who could eat a whole buffet <laughs> yeah. all by himself. Yeah. I can eat upwards <laughs> of 400 calories per meal, folks. I'm a big guy yeah. for you. <laughs> Wait, is that one of your restrictions? Is that real? Meme Master keeps asking, are there any other rules that we should know about this year's film festival just in case? 
Just focus on the rules I provided in the video, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. There's very few rules this year. I mean, if the last couple years of submissions have been the case, you will not be fine. The monkey Oscars. Oh, man. That's right. We should we should keynote those. The due date is in eight days, so uh, it's coming up pretty quick. Yeah, we could we could do a kino over the uh, 2019 Mumkey Short Film Festival. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd like to well, hear I've you guys. Watch them. Yeah, dude, it's only uh, it's only gonna uh. be like 50 minutes of. Uh, uh. They're curated. <laughs> I choose the best ones. And oh You're gonna my have 50 God, that's, minutes that's hard to believe. Content. The last two years we had an hour. I watched some of that hour. <laughs> some of it. So only some of it. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. Looking it's really for hard to watch when they put hit in. Me up. I'm in Raleigh and people tell me Poor I look monkey. like How does he do it? But I guess he wants more. More He's terrible to his fans. George Hopkins, if you, if you want to do more than act, we, you, we can do more than act, my friend. Let's uh let's hang out. Oh god. This guy what says he lives in Raleigh that? and he wants to uh act in my films. Come on what over. Kind of suggestion is that we'll do more than more than as in you know uh, uh go to the bar you know watch a movie have gay sex there's so many more things we could do than just okay. act oh no don't wow. get me started <laughs> all the <laughs> things you could do <laughs> there's the so many options <laughs> oh man he can play monkey in the made for tv movie about your rise and fall can't i play myself well, no, you you played Ch Jungle Jimmy. I think it'd be funny if I made a a monkey uh, biopic, but Jumpkey plays monkey. So every scene he's just like sitting there, his face isn't moving, he's not moving, and the whole the, yeah, the main that... character of the film for an hour or for like a hundred minutes just is motionless in voiceover. Yeah, and he he pronounces this bi he pronounces it biopic. It'll be great. Biopic. Fuck off. <laughs> Stupid. Daisy Ridley a, as Sheep Over? Okay, I'm on board. Damn. Let's do this movie. Wow. Where do I sign up? I assumed the, the chick from uh, uh, Mythbusters would be playing Sheep Over in the film. Carrie? Right. Whatever. Whatever the redhead's name is. I actually don't remember. E. Rich can play Asperger. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Do you think you could really uh, dedicate yourself to that role? Um, I need to go on a binge. Yeah, be a massive actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go find a prostitute and just fucking kill her. <laughs> yeah, easy. Uh, o actor. Oscar Isaac has Asperger. I don't want poor Oscar Isaac to gain 100 well, pounds for a role. No, no, no. In the Hollywood version of the Monkey Jones story, Oscar Isaac would be Asper. <laughs> He'd have to gain so much weight like Christian Bale. Actually, wait. Wait, wait. What's the name? What's the dude from uh, uh, Ant-Man of the Wasp? The oh, Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> no. He's no, not no, fat. No. He's fluffy. What the fuck? The guy from End of Watch. Yeah, what's his fucking name? Robert Zemeckis. No. <laughs> um, so, Michael Pena. Michael, Michael Pena. Pena play Asperger. But they're all like in their 40s, and this story takes place in our early 20s, I think. <laughs> no, you're going to age him up. No one likes to see teenagers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what circles of the internet you stay in, <laughs> Florian, but most of the places I go disagree. <laughs> oh, Dude. no. Wasn't yeah. Logan Paul in the, in that CSI or Law and Order? Wait, what the fuck was the show? They did a Gamergate episode, and <laughs> oh, Logan wow. Paul wasn't it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I I know Justin Bieber was in CSI and he got shot. Remember that? It was Law and Order. A SVU, the best of the SVU. Law and Orders. SVU. Ugh, the medicine's oh not God, helping. He I'm gonna fucking die. No. Just quickly, we need to medicate in another ah. way. Oh, what can we do? Well, maybe you should just throw up. Maybe that'll help. Someone drank all my Pepsis. Now I have to drink diet Pepsi. 
Look <laughs> here. Look. Oh my god, that fucking Listen. guy. Yeah, I show while we were at Asterios, as I showed Erich the best of Wings of Redemption, and Erich is now a big fan. <laughs> Look, I am a 450 pound man. I do not get out of my chair at any time. It's too hard to walk. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Can, can you do a southern yeah. accent like Wings of Redemption, E. Rich? These fucking snipers! <laughs> he hates snipers so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he can't move. I can't he take this shit anymore! <laughs> 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 Leslie Just Jones as Jump Key. Whoa, that's some inspired casting. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I I feel that you gotta gender swap someone, and someone needs to be a different race. <laughs> uh, that's what Leslie Jones's junkie was: different race, different gender. Damn, flawless. Yeah, that'll definitely win the Oscars. We we oh, did it. The Monkey Jones biopic will win all the Oscars. <laughs> biopic. <laughs> uh, you did it. This guy wants to know, Erich, are you from New York? Uh, state or city? He just said New York. I, I, I can only answer one question. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Next question. Okay. Um, he, did, he didn't clarify whether he was he meant city or state. <laughs> Florian, uh, are, are you from Germany? They want to know. I'm from <laughs> Austria, damn it. What's the difference? Uh, that's, that is German. <sighs> Fucking oh, oh, yeah. Evidently, there was a Monkey Jones meme in the new Razor Fist video. Uh, I don't really know who Razor Fist is, but evidently he's a pretty big channel, so that's kind of cool, I guess. He probably doesn't even know that the meme is of me, because I've seen uh, the same meme of me in a bunch of other things, so it's probably big on fucking, like, Tumblr or some shit that I don't even know about. I don't know. But that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's too bad these big YouTubers don't actually know about Monkey Jones. Does PewDiePie even know, or does he just have, like, this news guy who feeds him the information? Uh, he doesn't know it's Christmas time at all. Uh, YMS told me he's the one who told PewDiePie about my story, so I assume he just got the information from Adam. Typical. Doesn't no, even... no, man. It's he f <laughs> Man, 10 million people have heard about me now thanks to that PewDiePie video. How could I possibly be upset about it? It's great. I know. I just wish he would actually watch you. He's missing out. Oh, now it's all there's gone. nothing to watch anymore. I know. Yeah, it's all gone. He would have had to watch it first. And PewDiePie showed my fucking Patreon on his show. Like, that's the dream, man. Fuck showing yeah. off my website. Tell everybody about my Patreon, baby. Man, I wonder how much PewDiePie would make if he had a Patreon. Probably hmm. a, a metric shit ton. I don't know. It depends. I mean, some people wouldn't make a lot based on their... On the audience. No, nah, I, I bet PewDiePie would make a fuck ton, but he knows he doesn't need to, and he, it would just be bad optics, so he doesn't do it. Damn. What, what a shame. Leaving I, all I think that he's doing just table. fine. Yeah, I guess he keeps selling merch anyways. Yeah. Let's not worry about PewDiePie. No. <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. All right. What if Leslie Jones had a Patreon? Good question. Good question. Lots of shouting, I assume. <laughs> I don't know the meme I don't get. Who is that? Leslie Jones? Yeah. She's the funniest actor in the 2016 Ghostbusters film. Oh, no. That, that's actually serious, though. She's... Well, other than that. other than Liam Hemsworth, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Hemsworth. Or no, I mean Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Yeah, he was very funny in that movie. <laughs> Wow. Did you actually watch it? No, Mr. Plinkett told yes. me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I got like 10 minutes in before it pissed me off. Oh, you geez. don't like that guy who was introduced in the final three seasons of The Office? Wait, is he the guy in, who, who sells the haunted house? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I couldn't stand him. <laughs> yeah, he's not that great. Well, I mean, the dialogue was also terrible. I don't know. But then again, I feel that, that a good actor would, would tell the director I'm not going to read that terrible dialogue, but whatever. All right, boys. I, I'm feeling fucking sick. I think I'm going to go drown myself in the bath. George Hopkins. Yeah, man, we should hang out. Uh, 
uh, email me because I check my email all the time, or just uh, message me on Twitter uh, at Vincent Hates God. Folks, it's been a fun stream. Uh, Florian and Erich, uh, plug your shit or whatever you want to do. I, I don't know. I'm fucking. I'm losing my mind over here. I'm at yeah. Erich Kino on Twitter. Go ahead and hit me up there. Also, my channel is on YouTube. Uh, I do a stream every Sunday with Florian, and then random shit uh, when I get the spirit up to uh, do something. So, you know. Yeah, we're gonna watch the Postal movie finally this Sunday. Are you ready? Oh Erich? God, is that I a you bull that. movie? Yeah. It is a Yuva Bowl movie. I have more <laughs> followers on Twitter than Yuva Bowl. Maybe we can get wow. him on. We should get him on an episode of Kino. Oh, oh my god, you should get him on. That would be the best. I like that I'm guy. For... Yeah, I'm also for fighting Yuva Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Not any anybody who doesn't give a shit about the system and makes the movies he wants to make, even if they're not objectively good films, I I respect the man. <laughs> even if they're blubberella. Sure. <laughs> Even if they're specifically tax frauds. Mm, hey, yeah. he knows what he wants to make. He's a true Kino <laughs> artist. It is true, though. He is pretty amazing. And yeah. Postal is, is probably his best movie. But yeah, check me out on GameSquid. I mean, on YouTube called GameSquid. Gotta, gotta check that out. And go, go <laughs> check out me and Florian's new video, the supercut of us watching the State of the Union. It's at monkeyjones.com and oh all hail Chancellor Susan on YouTube. Folks, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh! tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow night instead because I'm not feeling fucking well at all. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Oh, wait, I did that. Yeah, why would, why would Dr. Nick say that back? Ah, I don't remember who I am. Are you, are you feeling better now? Are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh already? Saying hi again? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to fucking go to the bathtub and fucking drown myself. <laughs>